Good morning, guys. Welcome to vlog week day two. I'm posting five vlogs this week, Monday through Friday. So if you guys haven't already watched yesterday's, subscribe. You guys will get notified. Today is kind of a day at home. We're gonna do some home updates. Um, I've gotta get some work done today. It's gonna be a good vlog. You guys are having a great morning. I'm wearing a year of our set. I think I'm just gonna wear off leisure all day because I'm gonna work out at some point. I have therapy at one. I have a call at two, so I'm, I'm gonna need to go over to Dom's at some point. Um, I can see the updates on her new place. It'll be good, but first, I'm gonna start off my day with some water. I need to do my dishes. And like, I'll get to that, you know what I mean? Oh, I need to pack too, actually, today. I got this thing called Eight Greens, not sponsored. Lauren from Summer Fridays posted about it, and she like has one tablet a day, and it gives you like all of the greens you need. One of them contains as much vitamin B6 as six cups of spinach, as much vitamin C as six oranges, as much vitamin B15 as 15 cups of broccoli, as much vitamin B12 as seven cups of milk, and as much, and as much zinc as three cups of peas, so. We're having this dissolve. It doesn't taste bad at all. I got a variety pack. I haven't tried the other ones, but I have tried this one, so. All right, I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. I'm about to go to, literally, I'm going to Tractor Supply um, because that is actually where I got the gym mats from. They're technically, like, horse stall mats. And really, this is just a genius investment because one day when I have horses... Um, which who knows if that day will ever come. I'm trying so hard to like make it a hobby of mine to go horseback riding, but it is so hard to find like where to go, which I live in Texas. You'd think it'd be easier. I know I live in the city. It's like totally different, but I just want to go like every week. I also this summer, I'm going to get into golf and tennis. Like I might as well join a country club. You know what I mean? Just like new hobbies, you know? Anyways, um, I just ordered Smoothie King. So that is downstairs. I'm going to grab that. I'm literally not kidding guys. Horse mats, okay? But they're actually really good. If you guys are looking for good gym mats, that's what I have already. I just need more. I'm getting those. Hopefully, my little brother will come over tonight because they're so heavy. It's, like, next to impossible. Like, I'm not going to be able to move them, I don't think. I'm, it's going to be very difficult. So, hopefully, my little brother will be here tonight. He's watching the dogs from this weekend, so he, like, needs to come. I'm on hold with tractor supply outside. I mean, this is the life. I was listening to country all the way here, so I'm not mad. It's just, like, it's funny. Got my Smoothie King smoothie. Ordered it on DoorDash. If you guys use my DoorDash link, you guys can get like probably free Smoothie King delivered to you. You guys get credit. Use the link. It'll be down below. Change of events. I'm not getting these mats today. They're going to cancel my order because they're really big, which is fine. Like we could have fit them in, but the problem is normally they have like things that can like block your seats so it doesn't like get all the tar on your seats. Basically it would like ruin my seats. It's fine. It was only like a 15 minute drive. Um, but they're gonna cancel the order and then I'm gonna have to try again to get them delivered Which was a pain because for some reason I didn't have the option of that yesterday or else I would have done it So false alarm. It was a really nice drive that I had to tractor supply today though. So don't worry about me Okay, I'm home and I'm getting emo for some godforsaken reason and I have like an hour 20 until therapy I'm gonna go do my Pilates class with Daylight. Um I get questions about this all the time. I take from her on Zoom, but I sometimes just do the Zoom recording. So today I'm doing a Zoom recording from yesterday, but I didn't get to do it because yesterday I did 12 through 30. My workout routine mainly is Pilates and then I'll do 12 through 30. I go through phases where like, I'm like, there were definitely a few months where like all I did was 12 through 30. Then I started taking from daylight again and I feel like that's when my body like really toned up. Like that's when my body like really toned up. It's always Pilates for me personally. Like I find the biggest difference. And specifically Daylight's classes. Like I won't just take Pilates anywhere. I'm very picky because Daylight is like the best teacher ever. If you guys want to take from her on Zoom, so we might actually be in the same classes. I'll have her linked below, but she's my Pilates teacher in LA and my trainer who I used to work out with. Like I would literally do 6 a.m. training with her and then 7 a.m. Pilates, but I'm not crazy strict. I definitely work out like most weekdays at least. Um, and then sometimes on the weekends if I need it. For some reason I'm getting really emo right now so I need to work out so I can like snap out of it. Um, so we're going. <laughs> okay guys, I changed. I'm going to therapy. Exciting things everyone. Okay, I'm at Dom's and I'm exhausted from therapy and Dom's are trying to exhaust me more. Uh, no, listen, listen. First off, Dom 
does this thing with guys. She keeps asking like why she's single, blah, 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 and like keeps going on. I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she's like, Kinsey, it's all this stuff, and I was like, Big no. Big shock. But Dom does this thing, which I don't think this is like always a bad thing. I think you took that a totally different way. You just, it's deeper than you calling everyone bro and dude. You just like, admit you like someone and you don't really want to admit it, but in the process you- You friends, don't like to yeah, admit it. Yeah, but I don't friends zone myself in the process. That's the difference. You go in and you are like their best friend and they have no reason to even think that you're remotely interested in them. So they're like, oh, this is like my really because good Because wouldn't they say something? No, but it's the way that you like treat them as just a friend. Like you don't treat them any differently. Like with guys, like for example, it's like- but what? Do, but, but because I, because I get because what if they hate me? I can't handle rejection. Okay, well, unfortunately, in dating, you like have to. You've never been rejected. Are you joking? I know it's hard to believe, Tom. But... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for that one. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man. No, never, it wasn't you though. Okay, but I I don't know the answer to this, but you just go into a friendship with a guy and you like him. He has no idea that you like him, oh. and then you get in this cycle. And like I get it because I've done this so many times. So that's why I'm saying like mm. you just get in this cycle of like oh you're interested in him. He has no idea that you're interested in him, mm. and then you're just there. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that we just have to figure out how to not get you in that cycle. I know, which but I honestly I think is having more like boundaries with guys. Well, but my boundaries now are to just be like, well, now that's my problem. It's because so see, this is a great, this is a great specific. We're because meeting in uh, two minutes. Perfect. This is gonna wrap up in two minutes. I have a boundary, and my boundary is bro, 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 brother. And then it's usually once I get to know someone that I'm like, oh. You're cool, but then it's too late, and then I'm stuck. I never usually like anyone off the bat. It's through time of getting to know someone. Very rarely have I liked someone off the bat. It's different though. Okay. Because that's the only time I've ever, ever been like that. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we just have to find like some sort of middle ground for you there. Yeah. And I, Lauren made me read this book last week. Um, that was actually, it's like so cringy looking, like I couldn't believe that she recommended it to me, but it was actually really good. It was also about like how, which this is like we're the queens of this, it's like, oh my god, I'm never gonna meet anyone, blah blah blah, and like yes, now we're meeting more people, but like beforehand, like, it's like you have to like put yourself and like consistently put yourself out there and consistently be meeting new people, because if you're not meeting anyone, obviously it's yeah. not who you're gonna meet. But it's Will also- Will you call them on your phone, because I don't think they're respecting me. Yeah. I just get nervous because what if they bully me? And then, and then, and then I can't be bullied. They're not gonna bully don't, you. Don't dare. We're getting on a call. Got Sonic grilled chicken sandwich. Just busy gal these days. Not good. Alright guys, not gonna lie to you all, today has just not been the best day. I am so exhausted. I could fall asleep right now and it is 6 p.m. I actually need to pack for this weekend. I've kind of planned out my outfits and we leave in the morning. I have time if I wanted to to wake up and do that. I might just get a few outfits together, so. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I'm having just like a really off day. Sometimes after therapy, it's just like you're emotionally exhausted. You know what I mean? Good news everyone, I actually just planned out all my outfits, so I will feel a lot better. This is good, um, lots of outfits for a very short time of way, but it's gonna be okay. I have to pack a bag anyways, hi girl. This is what's happening here. Probably doesn't seem like it, but I just cleaned up my room, it was getting a little bit messy, I just had some random stuff here. I showered, I self tanned, I'm trying to just have a really cozy night, my little brother is here. Um, he's staying at my house this weekend, so I was just hanging with him for a little bit. I ordered a some dinner from Shake Shack. Uh, I have been craving nothing but like really unhealthy food this week, so it's fine. I've been craving nothing but like really unhealthy food this week. Anyways, because I'm just not really feeling myself, 
I want to just have a really chill night. It's only like 7 p.m. Um, the new Kardashians episode is up, so I think I'm actually going to watch. I've been watching since the last season. Um, I kind of wish I would have watched and like kept up. I'm just really bad at keeping up with TV shows, especially if I can't binge them. So I'm going to watch that. I'm going to wake up at 7. Um, we don't have to leave the house until like 9.30 or something, so I can pack and do all that in the morning. I am like out of hangers. I've gone through clothes. I just have so many extra clothes, so we'll... Picking out outfits for this weekend was the worst. And you know when you're like not excited about what you're wearing? I feel like that's like the worst feeling. Also, this crew is like so cozy. I'm gonna figure out how I can watch the Kardashians. My sister always puts it on. I watch that and then I'm gonna finish my book tonight. I'm really excited. I actually need to drink half a gallon of water because I'm convinced that that's gonna cure me. You know, um, at my big fat Greek wedding when the dad thinks that Windex fixes everything. That was like one of my favorite movies growing up. That's kind of how I'm feeling with water these days. Also, comment below. If you guys think I need to get an Apple Watch, I feel like I need one for like 12 through 30 and workouts and going on walks and stuff for like the health and fitness benefits. But if you guys have one, please let me know which one I should get, why you guys like it, what you use it the most for. I don't want a cellular one because I don't want text messages popping up. Um, I get annoyed when I have like my head, my AirPods in and Siri starts telling me who texted me. Like if I didn't open the text, I don't want to hear it yet. You know, like I'm not, I'm not mentally there. It's like been so emo today for like literally no reason. All right, it's 8 p.m. I have the Kardashians on. My Shake Shack is here. After I finish watching the Kardashians, I'm gonna read my book that I'm reading. That's actually our book club pick for the month, The Perfect Marriage. It is so good like it is one of the best books i've read in a while i feel like i've been kind of in like a book rut recently i haven't found i feel like i had a lot of bangers like the first two or three months of 2021 and then the past month has been you know rough but the perfect marriage so so good like cannot recommend it to you guys enough but i love you guys hope you guys enjoy this vlog and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye Oh my god, I love fiber. I'm so <laughs> fiber so I really increased my fiber intake a couple years ago and my life has been completely changed because of fiber and I realized like there was 